Hey, I'm Pascal from Orange Pixel and welcome to a new residual devlog. Uh, it's been two weeks, so a bunch of stuff got added, done, uh, changed, updated, improved, fixed, whatever, uh, new animations and all that stuff. So a lot of stuff to talk about. Let's just, um, let's just start the video. If, uh, hey, can you maybe wake up so we can uh, start, start the video? Yo, hello. Wake, wake, wake up. Okay, uh, he's awake. Let's start the video. I'm now at 71 frames of animation for the main character. And I'm pretty sure that's the most amount of animation frames I've ever did for any of my characters in any of my games ever. And I'm probably not done yet because I still have a couple of ideas. And also this, just what you saw, the sleep animation, he basically just uh, sits in the chair. So I want to have that animation where he actually climbs into the chair and then falls asleep. So that's gonna be another two or three frames of animation, but I think it worth it because it looks uh, pretty damn good. And before this sleep animation was pretty much just the screen going black. And this is a lot better. So I'm um, 71 animation frames right now and more to come. But of course I did a lot more in the last two weeks than create a couple of animation frames. Um, the main thing I've been working on is mission structure and I did this two weeks ago. So for those playing the early access version, you've already had this for more than a week or more than two weeks by the time this video goes out. Uh, but the new mission structure is um, just a lot better. As you can see, we now have an actual, uh, like a chapter name and under that a couple of tasks you need to do. And it's not so much going to be a mission structure, it's more a guide for the player to uh, slowly get into the game and experience a couple of things and understand how things work. And hopefully uh, it will ease you into the game and uh, survival. The original mission structure I had was uh, just text on the screen, no background, and it was almost invisible to the player, which is uh, very minimalistic, but maybe a bit too much. So I had to add some color and some extra to it, but I decided to have these missions uh, fly out of the screen after a couple of seconds so that you don't see them continuously on your screen. But they also slide back into the screen every few hours of gameplay time, not actual player time, but at game time they will slide back in the screen just so to remind you, you still have a couple of missions to do. And um, having that movement is actually a trigger for the player if it was just static on the screen it's more likely to be missed, but if you slide something or move something, uh, your eye is gonna catch it a lot faster. So that's why it's actually also sliding in and out and not just fading in and out to make sure there is a bigger chance the player actually notices something happening on screen right there that needs your attention. So having this whole new mission structure also allowed me to dig into this because um, it's a requirement right now to get this up and running because it actually dictates the flow of the game. It dictates what you have to do and what you have to find and what you have to research and analyze and all that stuff. So we need a couple of guiding missions as I call them right now. Didn't really call them like that before, but it's now on video. So guiding missions is a thing now and um, they hopefully allow the player to ease into the game and I'll be able to actually work on stuff that is required to make these missions um, able to be completed. And if you still understand all that and can follow all that. Now some weeks or even months ago, a lot of devlogs ago, I added cobwebs that then spawn little critters if you run into those cobwebs. And I already mentioned back then that uh, these little critters, they are gonna need mommy. So I've added a mommy. Well, not sure if it's a mommy or daddy, but it's an angry spider and um, <laughs> And it will have um, spider eggs or alien spider eggs and those eggs are important for the player. Uh, they will give you arachnid fluid. Just go with it, which will help you in other stuff that I can't say just yet. But um, it's an important thing, so you will have to find these uh, layers and then try to um, get to these eggs and get some of that fluid while also avoiding uh, mommy spider. 
So right now, Mommy Spider bounces all over the place, and I just finished work on this a few hours ago, so it's it's not done, but I wanted to show you anyway. Um, I'm gonna tweak it and improve it here and there, and but it's it's pretty cool already. And talking about looking cool, wait, that doesn't work. Okay, uh, never mind. I also added music to the game. Well, not that I created the music, but I had music created, and it took me a while to understand uh, what kind of music I wanted in this game. Um, the game mixes a lot of stuff into one, and, and I already heard a lot of people talking about this being a platformer game, and I guess in a sense it is a platformer game, but is Terraria also a platform game then? I there is a lot more going on than just a platformer game. And yeah, it's 2D, it's side view, it's scrolling, it's running, it's dumping, it's plat it has platforms, I know. But there is crafting, there is exploration, there is there is so much going on that I don't really think it's a platformer. So the music also had to stay clear of any platformer type music. I needed music that was in the background and you could hear it and you know it's there, but it also fades out into the whole gameplay. And what I usually do is just research a bunch of stuff, uh, movies, other games and things like that. See if I can find some music that uh, sounds good and i eventually came to uh, gravity the movie with sandra bullock and you can find the whole soundtrack to the game on youtube and i had it playing while uh, also playing the game and it was a great match and it was um not a perfect match but it was a good sense of what i needed for this game so i gave those specs and information and a couple of keywords to my musician and um, a few days later we had this music going on in the game <laughs> That's just the first tune. Um, another tune is also being made right now. I already heard it and it's it, pretty cool as well. So it's uh, we're gonna alternate them randomly. Um, so every time you play a new game, a different type of music will play. And um, I'm really happy with it. Now, besides all those things, I've been adding a bunch of new stuff. Uh, there's now uh, Quartz was already in the game. You can grab it from destroyable blocks, but it's now called Raw Quartz. And you actually have to refine it using a refining device. Uh, we can now compress metal into metal plates that you can use for building stuff eventually. And to have all that working, I needed to change the whole interface for the printing device in your spaceship. Um, it could only pretty much print one thing based on the input. So you had to, a resource like metal, you gave it to the printer, he would uh, print a mining device for metal. Which is great if you can only have mining devices, but I now needed a metal compressor that also needs metal as input. So I needed to build a complete interface where you can actually pick which device you want to create. The upside of this is of course that we can also make improved versions of those devices. So you might have one mineable device which is called Metal Mining 01. But maybe we can enhance it further, on, further down the line in the game. And it could be a metal mining device 02 or whatever we're going to call it. But there's now um, more options for more devices and they can use the same resources and it's much more flexible. So like I said at the beginning of the video, um, a bunch of stuff was made, done, fixed, changed and updated. And um, there's a full list on the devlog. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, this game is really going somewhere. Um, there's a lot of other news about this game that I can't really talk about yet or share. So I can't. So that's, that's that. that that's all I can say about it. But um, more to come on this game. And I think it's going to be my best and biggest game so far. And um, I can't wait to get back on working on it. So that's it for this week's video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment below, drop on the Discord and talk about stuff, games, this game, other games, videos, whatever you want to talk about. And I'll see you next week. All right, bye. So having this heel, heel new structure, I go gewoon naar Hollands verder. Information boxes will help you remind that, will help you remind.